Yummies, welcome back to my channel. It's Tanya M, aka Diabla Verde. For those who do not know me, today we're about to do another rib review. If you like the wig that I'm wearing, there will be a video. So I don't know which one's gonna come out first, but when it does, I'll put the link down in the description box so you know. So today's wig review is gonna be on the oh so popular Free Trust Eco Vivia. And I have her in the color too. This wig has already been reviewed on the YT uh, a few times. People are quick to these wig reviews, honey. And I was back chilling like I'll get to it when I get to it. <laughs> so yeah, this wig has been reviewed a few times. I'm just here to give my two cents and my opinions and thoughts on this unit. Before we get into this wig review, if you love wigs and makeup and you want more, please hit the subscription button down below and then hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos, okay? Let's take her out of the box and I'll give my unboxing in the show with you. Okay, so she comes in a lot of nice colors. I have her a color too, but of course I plan on wearing this wig um, for, you know, just casually wear it. Cause it is one of those styles where it could be a casual style and um some of the fun colors on the back of course the one on the front was the warm auburn i'm pretty sure a lot of people want that um another one i saw that i was thinking about getting was the amber and the russet i think when i ordered this i couldn't see the colors so i was like i'm gonna play it safe initial views of the wig take the net off here okay she is a true number color too. I know it looks kind of like a 1B on the screen, but it is a really dark brown. She is not, she is a full cap unit with the lace parting. So another one of those. Another full cap unit with the lace parting. Regular density, whatnot. This is going to be a breeze to put on. Um, parting, she, she probably needs a parting plug, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do my normal you know cut the v into the um parting space that way it can um lay flatter it won't be a lot of demarcation when i put her on okay so i'm going to go ahead and take this wig off put this wig on and then i can show you how it looks on me and my final thoughts on the unit stay tuned okay glam mommies i'm back she looks crazy. I have her on. I did not comb her out. I said I wasn't going to pluck the part, but I did end up plucking the part. And I laid a little bit of baby hair in the front. And so let's go ahead and well, let me show you how long she is first. This is how long she comes down in the front. So stretch, she's like 18-ish inches. Curly, she falls about 16 inches. So it's not that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and comb her out or brush her out. The cap is very roomy. I have the straps adjusted all the way. Yeah, I have the straps adjusted all the way. I have so much extra room in the back. I love the style. It's really simple. This is how she looks combed out. It's really nice. It is a bit shiny. It is a bit shiny, so dry shampoo is needed for this one. I did pluck a little bit out of the part, especially in the front. That way it'll look more natural. I'm going to go ahead and flatten her down. This does have a 5 inch parting space. That is the feature for this wig by Free Trust Equal. It is the 5 inch parting space. So it's very long. I usually would stop my part right here. But that's just me. I don't really see the point of the whole 5 inch parting. As long as it ain't 2 inches Give me a good three inches, three and a half inches. I'm good with the wig, you know. This is very necessary because it makes a difference. It's either your makes your wig. It's a difference between your wig looking fake, like a sitting on top of your head, or like you got a sew now. So now that I've done that, I love her. I think I'll wear her for the rest of the day. All right. This is how I want my hair to be. Okay, not even a length. Like, if you see my last video, I showed you my hair, my real natural hair. In the other video, I don't like flat ironing my natural hair because it's really thin, flat iron. I just keep the hair, my hair curly. But I need, to, I need to trim my hair really bad, so I end up flat ironing it. And my hair, I just don't like it. It's not full enough for me. So, this is um basically how full I would want my hair to be. It's not a bad density at all it's not too thick it's not too thin 
and this is how I want my hair to be but it's not it's just not <laughs> we always want what we can't have okay if you like this if you like this video if you like this review comment down below and don't forget to head over to my Instagram to see more pictures of wigs I have reviewed thanks for watching bye